Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It depends where you live in Colorado with this next storm system. It's approaching from the southwest, so mainly southern Colorado will get the brunt of the snowfall. But right now it's nice and dry in Denver. 39 degrees currently winds strong from the north at 16 miles per hour. Snowfall is already picking up into Vail, Beaver Creek and west of the Continental Divide and our mountains, especially south of I-70, will start to see some of that heavy snow pick up through the afternoon. A winter weather advisory has been issued for the metro area that's in place until at least early Thursday morning. Winter storm warnings extend from Castle Rock down to the border and over our San Juan and Sangre de Cristo mountain ranges, Aspen Vale under a winter weather advisory. So highs today will be a little bit cooler than yesterday, but still right around average for us. Mid to upper 40s in Denver near 50 degrees in Highlands Ranch, but temperatures will plummet drastically as we get into this evening. Highs today will be in the 20s and 30s off to the west. Low 20s Steamboat Springs and Eagles still very mild this afternoon from Pueblo down through La Junta, 50s to low 60s. Here's your hourly planner for the metro area. If you have any dinner plans this evening by 6 o'clock, expect the chance for a rain snow mix with upper 30s by that point. Shifting to snow in the overnight hours as temperatures fall to the upper teens into downtown up through Longmont and Erie. Single digit lows expected from Winter Park to Granby up through Walden down to Fair Play. So here's what the timing looks like into this afternoon. Strong winds from the northwest by right around three o'clock. We do have the possibility for a shower or two with increasing clouds. Those winds will be very strong over northern Colorado, mainly dry by that point up near Greeley down through Keensburg. And you can start to see on the I-70 corridor from Frisco down through Keystone and Fair Play. That's when we'll see more of that heavy snow pick up. It'll mainly be into our San Juan and Sagre de Cristo Mountain down south that we could see around one to two feet. Places like Grand Lake up through Walden could see around an inch. So it's really going to be south of I-70 that will see that moisture fall and accumulate and be pretty impactful. By Wednesday morning, all across the I-25 corridor and Eastern Plains, some slick snow covered roadways expected and talking about how much snow we're expecting. I'll step out of the way so you can see our snowfall forecast preliminary totals by Thursday morning down into Castle Rock, Elizabeth, parts of the Palmer Divide could see around eight to 10 inches, a little bit less up near Rabbit Ears Pass and then across the state snow will increase over southwestern Colorado. We will gradually clear out through Wednesday night cold on Thursday and then some milder air moves back in to round out the week and head into the weekend. A pretty fast moving storm. It's going to cause quite an impact for us. So definitely just be prepared for much colder temperatures, gusty winds, snow off and on through the day on Wednesday. A very cold morning here in Denver by Thursday, then sunshine and milder temperatures return back to the 50s. Jason Friday through the weekend.